And continuing the list of actors and directors who punched down on superhero movies, in a new interview with Elle magazine, actor Jodie Foster mentions how superhero movies are just the phase, and one that has gone on a bit too long for her liking. The actor, who is gaining Oscar buzz for her supporting role in Netflix Nyad, as well as starring in HBO's upcoming True Detective Season 4, clarified that she's a fan of some superhero films, but none of them are life-changing to her. It's a phase. It's a phase that lasted a little too long for me, but it's a phase, and I've seen so many different phases. Foster further elaborated by saying, hopefully people will be sick of it soon. The good ones, like Iron Man, Black Panther, The Matrix, I marvel at those movies, and I'm swept up in entertainment of it, but that's not why I became an actor, and those movies don't change my life. Hopefully there'll be room for everything else. Well, I didn't know that The Matrix was a superhero film. It's more like a dystopian science fiction movie. Although he can just fly like Superman, but I digress. While The Silence of the Lambs actor may be wrong that superhero films should go away, I agree that there should be a slowdown of the genre, which is what Disney is planning to do after the oversaturation from both Marvel and DC movies. There should have been a quality over quantity practice, but as with all major corporations and companies, it's all about striking the iron while it's still hot. And in layman's terms, greed. Too many films and not enough oversight can damage the genre altogether. <coughs> Marvels. Now, Disney CEO Bob Iger is finally doing something about it, but unfortunately it took major losses for him to wake up and smell the burning building that is the Disney Empire. There should be no monopolization within the box office, but instead have more than enough genres and films that cover all bases, giving the moviegoer and most importantly, the consumer, a wide range of options, whether it's horror, drama, action, romance, comedy, science fiction, and of course, comic book movies. What say you?